Hello gamers, this is Flaming Games 7 and welcome back to a very special video. This is one I've been looking forward to for a while. Now as some of you may know, n may know, I don't know why I said known there. I've been watching a lot of My Hero Academia recently because I've recently gotten into anime and such. And it's really good. I played One's Justice, it's really good. And so I'm like, uh, randomly, I don't know why, I just kind of felt like it. Just I just made a me of... 23, no, 21 My Hero characters, plus there's three other characters that you'll see later if you haven't already. Uh, but 21 My Hero Academia Mies, four pro heroes, four villains, and 13 from Class 1A, plus 13, I mean not 13, three others from Class 1A that are not Mies. You'll, you'll see, you probably already noticed. Oh, but anyways, first, we got Mineta versus... Hanya versus Kurogiri. That uh, if you look at Kurogiri from far away, he looks good. All right. <laughs> if you look at him from far away, but uh, we're doing three player battles. Yes, I name Mineta you as I should. We're doing th uh, three player free for alls, one stock, and then after the free for all first match, we go into one on ones. Anyways, I gave like Ida. He's got a bunch of kicky moves. Everyone else, I don't remember. I just gave him. <laughs> a lot of them I didn't do a very good job of the moves because I couldn't really. Oh, alright, Kurogiri popping. No, that's Mineta. K he's the only gunner. Uh, don't! Guys, you're getting destroyed by Mineta! No! No! What is this, Ida? What? What? You're supposed to be the one who defeats Mineta, but of course in the show he always fails. Uh, it's. It's a Koda that beat that destroys Mineta the one time. It's Jiro another. It's never Ida though. Even though he tries, he fails. You can't fail this time, Ida. No! No! What is this? This is Futrin. No! No! Also, we have FF need this one just for, because. No items. Basic stages. Tournament legal. No stage morph because they're short rounds. Shorter than I expected. But no! this what is this you just got destroyed by Mineta how do you, you feel knowing you've been destroyed by Mineta oh <sighs> this next match is special as some of you may know I really 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 like Ochako if you are subscribed to my YouTube you might know that if you're following my Twitter which you should you definitely know that this battle is very important. And if Ochako wins this one, it's her versus Mineta. I, I didn't even realize that when I was looking at the tournament order. But come on, Ochako. You got Kirishima. You got Siro. You can beat them. You can beat these two. Come on. You haven't taken a single hit already, but the match has barely started, and you've already taken a hit. You're winning, though. You're, come on. You've got... You've, why are you... Don't get comboed. Don't get comboed. Don't get off the stage. Get on the stage. I want you to be on the stage. I want you to win... Oh, Chaco, she's got the suplex, because it's never made any sense that that suplex could happen. But, because Ochako is zero gravity, it, it makes sense, so she can do it. Kirishima almost SD'd. Oh, oh, I, with the ledge game, this ledge game, though, I thought if people were going to get down there. Ah, but Kirishima's winning. No, no, you can't win first round. Don't let this be like the sports festival, Ochako. Don't let it be like the sports festival. You've got this. You can win. You are filled with determination. <gasps> no, no. Ciro taking both of them out at once with his tape cannon. No. <laughs> round one. Ochako gets taken out. <laughs> No! It's the sports festival all over again. <laughs> I never liked that. It was so sad seeing Ochako just get blasted and blasted and blasted over and over again by Bakugo. I do not like Bakugo. Although after the battle, Kaminari and Kirishima said to him, uh, how could you throw such a huge blast at a frail girl like that? And Bakugo was like, what part of her was frail? Thank you, Bakugo! You have indeed redeemed yourself. But anyways, moving on from that horrible defeat, we've got Kaminari versus Dobby versus Shigaraki. Uh, Dobby is one of the four League of Villain members I include. I didn't have any- I only have League of Villains members for the villains. Oh! Kaminari going right in there with his electricity. Definitely not just a gun. It's electricity. Look at that. He is barely taking any damage. Only one down throw, I believe, from Shigaraki. And Shigaraki is already SD, leaving just Dobby versus Denki or Kaminari, whatever. I, I prefer Kaminari. 
I don't know if I'm pronouncing his first name right, so I just go with Kaminari. Oh, up the up. Oh, I thought he threw out the. He, I thought he threw out the up B. He's got the funny up B. Come on, you've got this. Wait, because for some, why does everyone like Dobby so much? He's barely important, yet I see a bunch of fan art and stuff of him. Frankly, I mean, <laughs> but I do have one problem with Kaminari. He's often in uh, cahoots with a certain little purple demon baby. <laughs> And so, it does slow my opinion of Doc Kaminari. But he's pretty funny. He always looks like Saitama whenever he uses electricity too much. Because he gets dumb when he uses it too much. And he looks like Saitama. Is he going to SD? He's going to SD. And Mr. Fireman Dobby is going to take this round. Don't ask why he's in a business suit. It was the closest thing I could find, alright? I didn't do a very good job making these me's. Frankly, I'm amazed. Shigaraki, he, did, he got out right there. Round one, he's gone. Oh, now this, this is a special match, because as you can see, there's Lucas. This isn't Lucas, this is Todoroki. Because, of course, Todoroki's one of the most popular characters. If not the most popular. So I had to include him. But there's no way I could have made a me of him. Because he's got, like, the red splotch on his face, and he's got the divided hair. So I couldn't have made a Todoroki me. It's not possible! And so, because Lucas is fire and ice powers... Oh, I pressed yes, I'm stupid. Well, you're welcome, Todoroki won. Uh, same thing here with Todor- I'm gonna go hover over no real quick. Can I, because I pressed yes, can I just uh, redo this video? Uh, then Ochako might win, and Mineta won't. Uh, Todoro to Falco here is representing Tokoyami. We've also got Endeavor and Yaoyozu in the next battle, which I will not automatically skipificate. Like a moron, Yaoyozu, she is one of the two sword fighters in this tourney. Toga was the other, but I skipped her battle because I'm not good at life. Anyways, uh, uh, Tokoyami, that's his name. Uh, he's just Falco. Yeah, I'm not gonna commentate on him much. Uh, also, this is my first time commentating, but I commentate on things I'm watching to myself in a weird way. I don't know, so I got some practice. But Yao Yozu, I made her a sword fighter because I figured we gotta give them the sword fighters some love. They're definitely- Oh, and Tokoyami already taken the L off the top of the stage. But because Yao Yozu is a sword fighter and wants justice, I figured that's an excuse to have a sword fighter here. And she's also, for the, her neutral side special, she throws projectiles because it's never made any sense how the sword fighters and a bunch of characters in the game can just create these things out of nowhere. But it makes sense that Yao Yozu can. And so that's why I gave her those neutral side specials. Oh, but it doesn't matter. The Orange and Endeavor gets the spike as well. That hitbox is almost impossible to hit. But even though she was already gone, he hit her with the disrespect. Oh, and Momo's one of the most popular characters too, but Endeavor taking round six, five? What are we on now? Anyways, Ashido versus Bakugo versus... Is that Aizawa? I think that's Mr. Eraserhead. Anyways, let's not skip the battle. Oh, I see Deku up the next round, but that's not, rele that's not relevant now. Our first only gunner match. I don't think we've had an only brawler either. Oh, a Gourmet Race 64. All right, good. I like this music. Um, I, oh, guys, we're going in there with, I don't know, his band thing? Band? Not band. Like, whatever they are. He's already been spiked by Ashido. Thank you. I don't remember. Like, these rope thingies? Whatever they are. Uh, he's already gone, though. Bakugo is going strong. Only been hit once. He does have one of the best quirks out of Class 1A. Oh, the parry from, from the Ashido. The, did I just say the Ashido? It sounded like it. I didn't, though. Oh, Ashido with uh, her acid. It's acid. It's not fire. It's acid. Uh, oh, the, the acid. She keeps just smacking Bakugo around like he's nothing. This is what you get for destroying Ochako in the tournament. Ah, uh, but she was destroyed earlier, and that was sad. I just wanted to emphasize how sad that was. But anyways, oh, Baku got Ashido off stage. What's he gonna do? Absolutely nothing. And he just let Ochako, uh, not Ochako, Ashido recover. Oh, they're playing a bit of a stale game here. They're being kind of toxic, if you ask me. Ashido uh, isn't going to build up her FS meter. I was about to say she was, but she's not. Oh, the back air from Bakugo is going to take that. Read the air dodge, maybe, or some, I don't know. Kind of looked like he did. <laughs> it looks fancy. It's like when you just mash buttons. Looks like you did something. You didn't do anything. You did not do anything cool. Anyways, Bakugo is going to take this one. And it looks like he might be going up against Deku in the semifinals. But for now, he's still got to beat... Uh, Midnight and All Might in this battle. Now, can he beat All Might? There's also Midnight. I, 
I don't. I didn't know what moves to give Midnight, but I figured I'd put her in because she's one of the most popular pro heroes, and so. She's the only one I didn't use a reference image for, so her me not, might not be the best. Oh, she's going on stage. Wait, it, has she taken out All Might? All Might is gone. Deku uh, was stolen Midnight off stage. They were both at about 10% when All Might died, though. That is so sad. Deku going with the edge guards against Midnight. Oh, he's trying to combo. He's just jumping around. He is playing aggressive. Oh, I don't know what that foot smash was from Deku, but he's being punished f f uh, because of it. That's the word. Oh, he's off stage. Is he going to recover? He's going to recover fine with his shoot style kick. Oh, all right. He's got Midnight off stage. Is he going to do anything? No, he is not. Oh, Midnight with the the mist. Can we call that our mist? <laughs> I, I don't think so because the mist doesn't launch. It puts people to sleep. Oh, the once again, an explosive back air taking the match. Poor Deku not even getting a chance here. Although it doesn't matter who gets marked out in the early rounds, as long as the true most popular character wins. And who knows? Maybe it's Todoroki. He has a chance. Next, we've got Suyu versus Aoyama versus Hagakure. Let's see who can take this one. Frankly, I'm going for Suyu here. She's my favorite out of all of them. I mean, I like Hagakure, but uh, please hurry up. I didn't line up the timing of this joke well. Uh, oh, and uh, Hagakure already out. What a shame. Then I'll have to go with my second favorite out of these three, Suyu. Uh, I do actually like Hakakure more than Suyu. How is Hakakure so cute? She's invisible! <gasps> um, anyways. Um, Aoyama going in. He's just throwing his lasers everywhere. Or at least Aoyama. Like, I gave him shiny armor. I feel like Aoyama. I did a good job with choosing the moves, the, uh, what he wore, all that. Suyu, I don't remember her moves. She's got suplex, apparently. That's tongue grab. Suplex is tongue grab. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with that one. Oh, the, a throw from Aoyama. She, he's just completely destroying Suyu. If he had hit that big laser right, maybe he would have gotten the win there. Oh, he keeps snaring. Oh, Suyu trying to start a combo, but he's not. Oh, and the... I meant she's not. And the down tilt from Aoyama takes it with his laser. So many down tilts and back airs from the gunners. I did not expect, I mean, well, they are mostly gunners. The, like, over half of them are gunners. We have two sword fighters. Poor Hagakure and Suyu being left in the dust. See, it's funny, because Hagakure is completely invisible. Okay, next, it's just one-on-ones from here on out. I could have made it uh, a better format, but I had to make six more Mii's if I wanted it to be only one-on-ones. And I'm too lazy to do that. Although, I guess because the Hagakure joke would be five Mii's. Anyways... Come on, Mineta. I mean, you're both you're both weird, because, as you know, they kind of both have similar interest uh, in the middle of the provisional licensing exam art with Kami. But Mineta completely destroying Zero. It, this is going to be an under 30 seconds match. Mineta taking his first bit of damage. Can he please take some more? Not to be biased. Okay, I'm completely biased. Die, Mineta. But he is just destroying Zero here. Hit him with the nair. Is he? Oh, the up air finish. The up air finish. No, his stupid sticky balls knocking Zero into the blast zone. Come on, can anyone defeat this disgusting menace? I I, I need him to be destroyed. Uh, hopefully, Todoroki. Let's actually see Todoroki fight. Uh, poor Jiro and Toga. You can't even see Toga. She didn't get a chance to fight. That's, uh, Dobby. That's Dobby. I was about to say Aizawa, but no, that one's Dobby. We've got Dobby versus Todoroki. It's fire versus fire and ice. I mean, one of them has the clear advantage here. Even though fire will melt ice, it's better than nothing. Although maybe he'll try to use the ice and get cocky about it. Oh, but he's trying to go for the grab. The fire, he's got the fire. He has settled his differences with Endeavor. Good, we're at that point in the story. Oh, the up smash, the strong icy up smash. We'll go with ice on that one. Oh, the quick 20 second match from Todoroki. Absolutely destroying Dobby in that match. Oh, that was ridiculous. I'm sure a lot of you are happy about that. I like, I like Todoroki too. He's far from my favorite character. I think we all know who that is, but he's definitely up there. Uh, next to match, we got Bakugo versus Endeavor. Fire versus uh, Explosions. Although he's got a lot of fire moves. Bakugo, Bakugo, I gave him as many explosive moves as I can, but I had to settle for some of them being fire, I think. I'm not sure, but anyways, 
Who will win in this uh, in this battle of similar quirks? Let's see, except they're not very similar. They're very different, actually. Oh, oh, is Endeavor just getting left in the dust already? Nope, they both make it back to stage at similar percents here. Oh, they're both, they're bl both getting blown up by the bomb. Bombs, and they just love throwing out the bombs. The bombs are the most fiery thing I could give Endeavor for the down B, all right? The other, it was just a reflector and absorber for the other two moves. Oh, but they keep, they're kind of even in this match. Bakugo just going absolutely crazy. I just realized, why didn't I make a Mirio me? Like, I know that's super random to bring up now. I should have made a Mirio and a Jiri me. Let me know if you want, like, a part two, where I make some more me's, and maybe I, I take out a few, like, Tokoyami and Zero that aren't that popular, and Midnight, I'd like to do that one. I, I kept Mineta in just because I wanted to see him get crushed. But anyways, things are happening. I should get back to compensating the match. Um, still looking pretty even, but Bakugo is blowing up Endeavor's face, finishing it with the explosion just like he should, taking out Endeavor and winning the next match, moving on to the semifinals. Sadly, not against Deku, that darn bastard, or just darn Deku or whatever. Uh, he likes insulting Deku. Anyways, an unexpected matchup, Midnight versus Aoyama. Now, Aoyama, he destroyed Suyu in his debut match, we'll call it. But Midnight, I don't know. I didn't really pay attention much in that match. I, I don't know. There's a lot of matches to remember, all right? It's hard. But Aoyama just going in with the lasers like he should. The down air spike almost oh, two times almost taking midnight but thankfully for her it absolutely sucks they both nair at the same time they are barely getting any hits in the down throw from aoyama into the upper laser who could have thought he, but he aimed his laser up wait he did that in the provisional licensing exam arc uh, i pretend i didn't say anything oh off stage she's off stage again oh oh but midnight with the reversal but aoyama with the tech all right things oh there was a lot of explosions there okay Alright, is Aoyama gonna- no, they're still playing a sledge game, they're back on stage. Midnight's in a, a good position, but she doesn't take advantage of it with an up air. Is she gonna- nope. They love playing off stage this match. They're- oh, the tech from Aoyama? Alright, he barely lands on stage, he almost had to hit another tech. Aoyama charging up his laser. Oh, Midnight with the- the- the, the mist bomb. Oh, she hit the- oh, and Aoyama! I did not expect that. That was out of nowhere. Aoyama just exploded. And Midnight takes the next match. Moving on to the semifinals with Bakugo. But of course, we've got another round before that one. And that is going to be the semifinals. Exactly. Mineta versus Todoroki. Come on, Todoroki. Come on. You've got this. I was so close to accidentally clicking skip battle because I'm so excited to see this. Come on, Todoroki. You've got this. You're one of the most popular characters. You can destroy Mineta. What he's done up to now won't matter if you can defeat him here. Oh, but Mineta does get the first hit. Uh, Todoroki, stand back with the fire. He... Ooh, down, the icy down air from Todoroki. Oh, Oh no, but the sticky balls of Mineta. Come on, come on, come on, Todoroki. Come on, you've got this, you've got this. This is like the happiest music you could be playing, why? Two forward smash and Todoroki. A nice icy up smash. Come on, another one of those could take it, but Mineta barely dodges, come on. Oh, the down air spike, but it's on stage. Let's go, let's go, get destroyed, Mineta. Get destroyed, you stupid freaking purple. Stupid, stupid, destroy, get destroyed by Todoroki, get dominated, get annihilated. Okay, next semifinals match, Midnight versus Bakugo. If Bakugo wins this, it's Bakugo versus Todoroki. It's just, it's just the finals of, oh gosh, Bakugo, you need to win this. So it's canon. Oh, but Midnight gets the first hit with a dash attack. Oh, the not-so-safe up B from Bakugo, but he's throwing out the bombs. He's still going strong, uh, hitting her with some explosive explosives. He misses the grenade, though. Oh, Blaze. All right, Bakugo's going all out for this one. He's got to make this the Canon Sports Festival match. Go Bakugo going against Todoroki. It's got to happen. Oh, the bombs. All right. Oh, this is intense. Come on, Midnight is at a somewhat high percent. A good explosion from Bakugo could take this out. Oh, but
want Midnight with the Up Smash? I didn't think he was at a percent to die from that. She must have charged it when I was paying attention to Bakugo. Midnight taking it. I didn't think Bakugo was at a percent to die from that. But no. I He just gets taken out completely. I will say I upped the launch rate a little bit because I honestly thought this would end up being a 50 minute video. But no, I guess not. The finals. Todoroki versus Midnight. As long as Todoroki wins this, nothing that happened before this matters. He is the most popular. Midnight isn't the second most popular. No, it's just, we're just fighting for the most popular here. All right. He's jumping around. Jumping around Midnight. Oh, he's going strong. He lost the ice moves there. Those are really all his moves, except one. He's only got one fire move. Because I call all his PSI moves ice moves. Because they kind of... I don't know, it works kind of. They're at similar percents of midnight with the up throw. Does a solid 13 damage. Oh, all right, Luke. I mean, Todoroki trying to go for a combo into the strong icy up smash. He air dodges into the mist. Just gonna call it that. It doesn't make any sense though. Oh, all right, this down air landing from Todoroki. Oh, I don't like this. Midnight can't win this. Oh, is she just. Ah, oh, that was a really bad. I don't know, ice from Todoroki. Oh, is he going? Okay, he's not going to take the up smash. He might have been able to get a strong one there. Probably wouldn't have killed anyways, though. Come on, Todoroki's got to make some major plays to take this one back. But I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. I, I don't know. Oh, all right, the throw. Wait, what? Did he just killed? I mean, I know I upped the launch, launch ratio a bit. I guess that's it. Todoroki wins. Most popular character in My Hero Academia. Frankly, I think that worked out. Definitely, it could easily be argued he's the most popular. And look at that! Todoroki is officially the best My Hero Academia character. That's a lie, it's Ochako. Please know this was all a joke because the answer is actually Ochako. But frankly, that was a lot shorter than I expected. I thought I'd have to spend like 50 minutes on this. I guess maybe I should have made it two stocks and a normal launch ratio. But yeah, I would totally be willing to do something like this again. Maybe for JoJo, uh, maybe for some video game. Or maybe I could do My Hero Academia again. But this time with some different me's, take out a few, add in a few new ones. Uh, and just, of course, keep some of the main cast, like Deku, who got out round one. But not nearly as sad as this Ochako. Oh, Losing and Mineta almost getting into the finals, but I definitely I don't think I needed one stock, one uh, like a 1.4 launch ratio. That was apparently way too much. So two stocks, normal launch ratio next time, or maybe like 1.1 launch ratio, just to make it go a little faster. But yeah, that was the My Hero Academia best character tournament. Todoroki won. As we all should have known from the start, he is probably the most popular. It's either him, like, Suyu's pretty big, or Ochako. I'm not Ochako. I'm just saying that we're all my... And I, I, I think Ochako's a pretty popular character, but I can't... I don't really want to say that she is, because I feel like that's just be, me being biased. Because she's Ochako. So, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I should stop rambling. I always do this at the end of videos. I just ramble. But for now, gamers, this has been Flaming Game 7. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow my Twitter, and remember, kids, eat your green vegetables.